What is something a lot of people believe in, that is actually a myth? I remember reading an article about how high-end chefs loved messages it brings out, adds flavor to virtually any dish, and lamented the in a message movement because it meant they would have to stop using it to appease customers. Honestly, most stuff on camera don't even look the same real. We use so many times cheap knockoffs of expensive watches that even have their dials painted on or some tin jewelry that seems like the real deal but if you see it with your own eyes you will burst laughing. Like Harrison Ford once said after they had to get out of the garbage pit and new hope, but in the next shot Luke's hair was pristine. Kid if they are looking at your hair, we are in trouble. Honestly, most stuff on camera don't even look the same real. We use so many times cheap knockoffs of expensive watches that even have their dials painted on or some tin jewelry that seems like the real deal but if you see it with your own eyes you will burst laughing. Like Harrison Ford once said after they had to get out of the garbage pit and new hope, but in the next shot Luke's hair was pristine. Kid if they are looking at your hair, we are in trouble. Actually unvaccinated kids are more likely to be autistic than vaccinated kids. It is probably because a lot of anti-vax parents become that way because they have an autistic child and they hate this aspect of their child. So they refuse all future vaccines. So future children are more likely to be autistic because of genetics and less likely to be vaccinated because of parents' anti-autistic hate and ignorance. HTTPS colon slash slash www.drugtopics.com slash you slash vaccination rates lower children autism and their siblings. I had the pleasure of having a knee hooked to my head as part of my degree and it was mind-blowing seeing numbers on the screen that represent the active areas of my brain in the process. It was amazing seeing firsthand how trying to identify colors would increase activity in my occipital and prefrontal cortex. Even when that activity would be more apparent, there was always activity. Our brains are compartmentalized. If an area wasn't active in that moment that would be terrifying as we lose the sense, be rendered disabled or lose any of our memory and consciousness. Edit, put TCG instead of EG like a dumbo. ACG is for the heart, EG is for the brain. This is the type of myth that parents made up to lie to children to quickly end conversations that are all untrue. Unfortunately, those kids believed their parents and went on to tell their children and now we don't realize they were lies. Don't touch baby birds, because they can have communicable diseases. Don't swim one hour after eating because of cramps. Actually, it's because they don't want you to vomit in the pool. It's illegal to drive with the cabin light on. It isn't, it's just really annoying. Gum lasts in your system for years if you swallow it. It doesn't, it's just a choking hazard. Shaving your hair makes it grow back thicker. It doesn't, your peach fuzz just looks awful. Sitting too close to the TV will make you go blind. It won't, you're just in the way. It's funny, because I was teased by my dad and uncle about my facial hair growing in. So I went to the bathroom and shaved it off, with no instruction or shaving cream. Then they told me about the now it'll grow back thicker myth, and I was pissed. I didn't want to get teased about it and now it was going to come back more noticeable. The way you phrased it makes it sound like you encourage them to shave, so it'll be thicker, but that would have had the opposite effect for me. The cold can lead to pneumonia. But when colder weather happens people huddle together in the northern climates which bring sicknesses together and that's how they transfer to different hosts. Edit, some grammar, yes I know it's shit, also adding a broader detail to my statement for easier understanding. But when colder weather happens people huddle together in the northern climates which bring sicknesses together. Yes, a prime example of this is all the windows on things like buses will be closed. So anyone sneezing on the bus spreads it around the whole bus. Sunk cost fallacy. The notion that you must continue with something because of how much you've invested in it. It's extremely common in business. 
but also in our personal life. Truth is, what was invested is irrelevant. The only relevant question when deciding whether to continue with something is, is what I'm going to invest from here forward going to create a return that justifies the investment? I think a lot of people just haven't thought about it, and I think even those who know it doesn't grow on a tree don't expect it to grow the way it does. That is out of the middle top of the plant. I grew up with them at our house and a lot of visitors were surprised that they didn't grow as like the base of the plant. That is the pineapple would be like the stem, or even as a root, like a carrot. Once a year BuzzFeed has some post that shows people how fruits and vegetables grow and I'm genuinely shocked how surprised the commenters are by the photos. The only things I learned it was like, hey that's nifty were cashews and loofah sponges, but they were like, watermelon vines? Question mark. And asparagus in dirt? Question mark. My wife got stung, and then got mad at me when I refused to pee on her leg. We were on a public beach that was packed full of people including plenty of kids. No fucking way was I gonna whip it out and start pissing on her in public in front of kids. She said some dumb shit like, everyone knows that's what you do when stung and no one would care because it's a normal thing to do. Soon after a lifeguard, Ranger came by with a spray bottle of vinegar and sprayed it on her sting. I guess tons of PPL were getting stung that day. Less than 1 to 600 people in the USA live in largely vacant Wyoming. This is a huge state larger than the UK with no cities and only one four-story building. Due to the nature of farmers often stuck on their ranches these folks rarely travel to the rest of the USA. The odds of meeting someone from Wyoming in the coastal US cities 1,000 miles away from Wyoming is super rare. I am almost 60 years old and I have never met someone outside of Wyoming who was from Wyoming. One interesting thing behind this, although it's a joke, is that part of the reason Athena made the three Gorgons, Medusa included was because she was jealous of their beauty. But Athena in fact did not turn Aphrodite into a snake-haired woman or similar creature with a horrible curse. Which implies that Athena is convinced she's prettier than Aphrodite. But for some reason she absolutely was positive Medusa was prettier than her and cursed her out of jealousy because of it. So I suppose by that logic you could technically put some weight on this conspiracy of yours. In Greek mythology the Gorgons have no backstory, it's just Medusa and she's just a monster that Perseus must overcome. Roman mythology gave Medusa a backstory. In one version, Poseidon cheats on Athena with Medusa, a priestess of Athena. Athena is so disgusted that her own priestess fucked her boyfriend that she curses her into a monstrous Gorgon, turning everyone who looks at her to stone. In another version, Poseidon raped Medusa, and afterwards she goes begging to Athena for protection. Athena, being the goddess of strategic warfare, takes pity on Medusa and turns her into a gorgon who can turn anyone to stone. But it's like a superpower, it's optional, she's still beautiful. The second one actually resulted in places of protection for women. I can't remember what they're called. But they had a depiction of Medusa above the doorway as an indication that that was a safe place for women. I have no fucking idea where her sisters came into play. That you need to wash chicken. Never seen a professional kitchen do this in the field or any food safety certification anywhere advocating this. Edit, not sure why I'm catching down votes, was a professional chef for over 10 years in multiple countries. Just look it up, it's a total wives tale. That Santa's iconic red look came from Coca-Cola advertisement which they definitely started using him in the 1930s for advertisement but he was already sporting his red outfit for over 30 years at this point. If I recall correctly he first got the red outfit from an illustrator for a newspaper that was drawing him for a poem they were publishing about Santa Claus, Street Neck. Dairy cows just make milk all the time and have to be milked, nope. They're a mammal. They have to be pregnant to lactate. 
so the farmers forcibly impregnate them once a year, take away the babies, males get killed, and kill mom when she's too weak to continue the constant pregnancies, usually at 5 or 6 yo out of a natural lifespan of 20. Got milk? This is one I'm to warn about as an atheist. I used to think more people joining the non-category of religious affiliation was a good thing and that they'd all be classically liberal science-loving atheists like me. Not so. A lot of people are using politics to fill their religious voids and this is cause for alarm, especially in the US. That Darwinian evolution in any way attempts to touch on the origins of life, it only covers divisions within species and possibly, speciation. There's nothing in the mechanism that leaps the gap from non-life to life. There's also nothing in the mechanism that leaps the gap basic animal mentality to fully self-aware human intelligence. That isn't socialism there bud. Those are government services, unless you're trying to say the Babylonians were socialists. For a bunch of folks complaining about the right not knowing what the term means you all are doing the exact same. Here I'll do the legwork for the lazy. Socialism is a political, social and economic philosophy encompassing a range of economic and social systems characterized by social ownership of the means of production and democratic control, such as work or self-management of enterprises. None of that has anything to do with your local highway department, firehouses, or schools. Yeah except it was the, the right that started all that. Bernie Sanders arguing healthcare and college tuition were socialism. You can call it whatever you'd like I don't personally care. But at its core when the left argues for socialism it's these very basic concepts. Of course there's extreme points of view on both sides but don't pretend like the right uses the word correctly either. The fire department is a taxpayer supported government service. It has nothing to do with the ways and means of production and so is in no way shape or form socialism. It is, however. An argument I've heard regurgitated millions of times, from Webster, socialism, any of various economic and political theories advocating collective or governmental ownership and administration of the means of production and distribution of goods, to a, a system of society or a group living in which there is no private property to be. A system or condition of society in which the means of production are owned and controlled by the state. 3. A stage of society in Marxist theory transitional between capitalism and communism and distinguished by unequal distribution of goods and pay according to work done. That Satanism is drinking child blood and voodoo and black magic. In reality, it's the belief in free will and an appreciation of nature. They believe that the devil was the freest of souls, and that upset God so he spun lies about Satan. They also believe that the devil is the most natural deity. It's not a malicious religion. I've legit had a 30-something adult argue with me that Satanists drink children's blood and make sacrifices to the devil, no man. That's not how sanity works. Which ones? I mean the current COVID vaccine under the Trump administration was supposedly a rushed job at best or complete myth at worst. Then you have the stolen election of 2000 that even two decades later certain people think was cheated out of Al Gore's hands. I mean I can't get the merry-go-round of what we commoners are supposed to believe as bestowed onto us by our Italian suit-wearing overlords anymore. It's purposely stated in a way to be misleading. Women as a collective workforce earn about $1.77 for every $1 men earn as a collective workforce, but most people understand it as for doing the same job as a man a woman will be paid 77% of what he's paid which is not only illegal but flat out false. All the people on earth have the superimposed figure figure which is a kind of a super spacer. In most other myths and religious organizations there is the legend that when you reach the top of a mountain, there's a giant figure who floats around and says, Hi, 
My name is Mark of the Beast. We will never know this true until he's actually there and he's an important figure to the rest of existence. We don't know what this really means or who he is or how he got there. There is a myth around these ancient people that we are the beast or the beast is our god. And in some cultures or religions there is a myth saying we are the beast. The beast is a great living myth. We should have people have people like you in our life form and know that this is the beast, that if they see that they are going to be the beast, they think we are. I've seen that people go through, no, wait, if he's the beast his is the beast and he's a god. But once they get through that you've got to be careful not to become complacent. They will still be confused. They are still searching for this very god. That the earth is round. It's clearly not and the people saying that it is are obviously brainwashed by the globe companies. Then they show you edited photos and videos of earth being round. Obviously made by the big globe companies and obviously it's all sarcasm but I'm just having fun. But when you ask them if they have actually been to space they just look at you in amazement trying to comprehend the superior intellect of a flat earther like myself. Marrying two white immigrants does make him not racist, they were both Caucasian as he is. Now maybe if he married two non-Caucasian non-American women that might help that argument. And plenty of people who are racist make exceptions. I know one guy who has an Eastern European work colleague, pal but he has sworn there is no way he'd let his daughter marry, date an Eastern European. I know a half Caucasian half Japanese person who can't stand Hispanics. You can be a racist and a hypocrite. The world is going to end because of climate change, and other similar variations. There are no legitimate and well-informed climate scientists who predict such a doomsday scenario. We should be intellectually honest enough to admit that something awful can happen without the sky falling, or the human race going extinct in less than 30 years or any other pieces of doom or pseudoscientific crap. The Super Size Me Movie For someone that was trying to answer the question of what it would be like to gorge yourself on Mickey D's, he isn't very thorough. First of all, according to a doctor, he only supersized his meals for less than a third of a month, as if that isn't defeating the purpose of the experiment. Second of all, no one can replicate his results. In a similar study conducted in Sweden, the subjects only experienced weight gain and fatigue. Morgan went through that, along with depression and mood swings. This alleges that he may have had a drinking or a drug problem. Tom Naughton of the documentary Fathead couldn't get him to disclose the journal of what he ate. That the US government owes PPL something. It's sad how everyone complains but yet we live in the best country of the world. The Gulf does not owe you free healthcare. Instead of wanting to get rid of your iPhone and new car you don't need, PPL can't budget their own money and then complain they can't afford insurance. Photoshop can do anything. Yes, Photoshop is an incredibly powerful tool. But I've seen too many people ask for the impossible. Can I get this photo in a completely different angle even though we never took a picture of that angle? And now that I think about it, enhancing pictures thanks to crime shows, you can squeeze more detail out of a 240p image. The most you can do is brighten and contrast. That you can recycle styrofoam, not their fault really. Since there was a lot of propaganda from styrofoam manufacturers that you could, but there are so many holes you have to jump through just to find a facility that will be able to recycle it, but probably can't take your styrofoam anyway, that it's virtually entirely unrecyclable, and you definitely can't just put it in your recycling bin. The DD to defy definitely. That poison ivy, sumac spreads if you scratch it. Even days later, it's an oil on the plants that seep into your pores. The more sensitive the skin, the faster the rash shows up. This is why people think they spread it via scratching. The honest truth is that the underside of your arms, the webs of your fingers, and the backs of your hands breaks out in hours. The top of your forearms and places like it will break out a day or two later, if they are exposed.
If you haven't washed the oil off, you will spread it. After you've taken a shower though, you can scratch away all you want without fear of spreading it.